my name is Kevin Gordon and I've been working for the Drisha Lab at the CDN for around two years now. Um, and we've been investigating the CNTN AP2 autism susceptibility gene in a mouse model. Um, and in this model, we're basically looking at dendritic spine development in layer one of the anterior cingulate area of the medial prefrontal cortex. And this particular brain region has been implicated in some of the socio-communicative deficits of autism. Um, so just for a bit of background, I've lived in South London my whole life and actually went to state schools. So for secondary school, I went to Lillian Bayless Technology School in Kennington. And I then went on to do my A-levels at Westminster Kingsway College in King's Cross. Um, so I guess you could say my upbringing wasn't necessarily too privileged. Um, so after that, I worked for a year and then went on to do a BSc in Cognitive Neuroscience at Leicester. And I think it was during my third year dissertation, I gained an interest in autism research. So for that project, I utilized eye tracking to investigate subclinical autistic traits within the general population. And what I'd basically do is um, give people the autism quotient, and then I would find correlates between their scores and gaze fixation on the eyes versus the mouth region when processing faces. Um, so when I finished that, I went straight on to the MSc Neuroscience program at King's and actually did my thesis with the Drisha lab, working on the same mouse model, but in the context of myelination. And since then, we've sort of further developed the project. Um, and this sort of landed me this position. Um, and this was kind of because I wanted to gain some experience in research and get a bit more familiar with different wet lab techniques. Um, and I've actually managed to learn quite a bit. Um, this was with the support of the lab members and members from different labs of the CDN. And I'm currently applying for PhD positions to hopefully pursue a career in research. Um, so my advice for anyone pursuing STEM would be networking. And it's sort of like finding someone that's been successful in the area that you plan to try and go for, because they can tell you about their experiences and then you can sort of learn from their mistakes and it would sort of like save you a lot of time. So yeah, um, well done for getting onto the Dev Neuro program and I hope you have a great week. Thank you.